guys, Ralph here, and welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness on this sensational Sunday here in Connecticut. Uh, why am I doing this on Sunday? It's very simple. Friday got nuts. I was planning to do this on Friday and um, didn't get it done. So here I am on Sunday. It's interesting. As you know, I was going, um, I'll talk about it in a minute. I played a lot. I played close to three hours. Let me see if I'm toast. And uh, we'll talk about what Jerry means to me. Double C and caress the baby. You drinking your water? Not of these hot days, guys. I drink fluids constantly in the dead of winter. It doesn't have to be, I mean, it's important in, in the summer when it's so hot. Anyway, I was doing this, as you know, if you've been following all week. What Vacchiato means to me, the broil, what John Ware means to me, and here we are with Jerry. And I have to say, if, and if somebody wants to correct me and give me a name down below, I do believe I'm the only one left standing <laughs> that studied significantly with all four. And I have to say, I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that. Um, with that said, I remember when I was playing full time, and I was on the road and, and, you know, doing gigs and all this sort of stuff. And we would start, you know, in a break or whatever the case may be, talk shop. Well, this one said this. And, and you know, you come, from, you deal with people from all over the different, all over the world. And we get in discussion, well, this, you know, this phrasing here and this, and I can always say, I studied with William Bracciano and he said this. Case closed. Discussion stopped. We can talk about it, but this that, that's it. If he said, well, when Bruno Walter did it, you wanted the phrase going this way on Mahler Fifth. Who's to say anything else? Anyway, Jerry gives me much the same thing. Now, our relationship was very, very strong in many areas. And I've said before, he's my teacher, my mentor, and more importantly, my best friend, okay? And I've talked a lot about that, so I'm not gonna go into that here, okay? Even though that's absolutely the case. But what he has left me now is the same sort of thing that Vacchiano has. What we have here, guys, what I call it true power, is the greatest system of for brass playing ever, ever. And that includes the 1SB, which is the greatest trumpet mouthpiece ever designed. Ever designed, ever manufactured. I feel very, very comfortable saying that. I think anybody that is not playing this way or using this mouthpiece can make extraordinary jumps in their playing, doing both, playing this system. I think that spit buzzing and what I just did right there, and I'm not getting into the whys and wherefores here, is the uh, greatest system ever devised, ever. And I, quite frankly, I don't think there's another one that's even close. I'll take that back. I was going to say I don't think there's one that's even close. Claude Gordon was close. I believe that. I think he uh, knew that the tongue was the whole thing. He didn't come right out and say it, but I do think he thought that was probably... The whole ball of wax, the only thing that I have against him, I don't believe he was using, 
I will say this. I'm not going to say it wasn't correctly. He was not using the trumpet, the, the tongue, the way Jerry and I do, did, and the way I teach. But I thought he was very, very close. Um, with that said, again, it is such an incredible, incredible feeling to wake up in the morning and know that your chops are going to be great, that your chops are going to be world class first thing in the morning without warming up, without changing the mouthpiece. It doesn't matter what the gig you have later on. It is going to be there. And I've told you before, yes, I don't wake up fresh as a daisy every day. I do most days. But you and I, with the one SB mouthpiece, have the tools to take a bad day and turn it into a great day. That's it. That's it. Go into your happy zone, the whole nine yards, and this is what Jerry gave us. And to that, that feeling, that confidence that I have knowing, guys, this is it. Knowing that the one SB mouthpiece, guys, he stopped making them. I just got off the phone with one of his cronies and we talked a little bit and reminisced. That's why I'm doing this here. It just made me think so strongly of Jerry. But, um, and he was another one. I got every mouthpiece that, that came down the, the pipe. And all of a sudden, he stopped making mouthpieces. I, I, to this day, I can't. And he, this was a good, help me out here, guys. The one SB was a good three to four years before he passed away. And he didn't make another one. And it's not like he was dissipating at that point the one SB came out. It wasn't. If he didn't think it was right, he would have kept going. But guys, it was it. The tongue, he would always you know, tweak the tongue a little bit, but it was basically, guys, except for a little tweak here or there, it was the same thing with the same mouthpiece. And that is what he gave to me and to us. And for that, I would be forever thankful. This is the way to play not only the trumpet, but every brass instrument, every wind instrument. That is the extraordinary thing. That is the extraordinary thing. And I'll tell you guys, and this uh, isn't going to make sense to you, but I have taken these principles of compression, relaxation, and I am turning out astounding athletes on the same principles of playing the trumpet. Needless to say, and I'm, I'm preaching the choir here, but all you guys know that playing a, tr a trumpet is a very difficult athletic endeavor. It absolutely is. The same principles hold true. I guarantee you I could sit down here with, with Bruce Lee and he would understand completely what I was saying. All right? Now, again, back to Jerry. Guys, the greatest system ever devised for trumpet. It, I mean, is that amazing to say it? It is. And Jerry gave us that. And I'll tell you what, guys, Jerry did not have, was not privy to YouTube and social media and all that sort of stuff. Yumiko did anything for him. He didn't want to know anything about it. For all his intelligence, he, he just didn't want to hear about it. So I'm pretty much the one that is going global with all this. Although Jerry, by, you know, by mouth and by reputation and everything, did go worldwide with this. But this, to everybody in the world that has a computer, I think it's a wonderful thing. And even though this, this channel, to my way of thinking, is an extraordinary, extraordinarily successful, I still would like every single trumpet player in the world to be playing a 1SB. That's my goal. And guys, it's not necessarily that I'm trying to make a boatload of money. There's not a boatload of money to be made in mouthpieces. There just isn't. Unless you're a mega corporation like Bach or Yamaha. I'm not trying to get rich. Trust me, I'm not getting rich on a 1SB mouthpiece. I'm doing this, and that's another thing, guys. I could charge double for these mouthpieces if I wanted to. That's not what I'm after. I want every single trumpet player in the world to play with their tongue through the teeth, Compression 
and I don't want this to be mouthpiece. It's the best. And everybody should have the best. Jerry, teacher, mentor, best friend, yes. But man, the greatest system ever devised for playing a brass instrument. Eat, drink fruits and vegetables, starches, and live your life with truth.